This right here is gonna be one of the most aggressive, heavy duty recovery winches the world has ever seen. Every sling we have, every strap we have, instant ruin. He will just rip the crap out of them. More beat is more better. Definitely ripped off everything you just did. All right, can't wait to see Pedro's reaction. He's not gonna be too mad. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we have a heavy episode for you today. By heavy, I mean about 30,000 pounds heavy. Now take a guess of what this is behind me. Any guesses? Mm. Elephant statue, Optimus Prime's loincloth. I'll tell you what it is, it's a, it's a winch box for the Minotaur skid steer that Sparks picked up a while ago. Now the Minotaur is probably the biggest skid steer on the market. It weighs nearly 22,000 pounds, fully loaded. Now this weighs about 5,500 pounds, fully loaded. So we're pushing 30,000 pounds Oh, come on, guys. She's not that fat. With the winch box and the Minotaur combined. Basically, this whole thing is fabricated out of 3 8 inch steel. So this thing is as heavy as it gets. Now, this is heavy equipment built for heavy recovery for heavy D. And there he is right there. See him? <laughs> <I'm done. laughs> All right, first things first, though. The Minotaur needs lights. It needs wrap. It needs some tint, it needs some upgrades. Let's get busy. All right, normally you don't get the pleasure of having Ty come out and wrap it himself. Luckily, he was willing to come out and help us. However, I want to show you guys, it is easy enough for you to do it in your shop or whatever it may be. Honestly, like if you've wrapped anything like a dirt bike or anything, it's similar to that. However, this material allows you to make more mistakes than like a wrap on your car or whatever, right? So this is thick enough to where you can put it on there, check it, pull it, yeah, stick it, pull it, stick it. Some directions on map quest. Uh, huh, looks good. All right, slap the arm. Let's get to the next piece. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how far down it's supposed to come. Yeah, it's a... So is this is this material closer to like a UTV material than like a car wrap? Yeah, I mean your car wraps are like. I don't know, four Seems mil thinner. thick. Yeah, much thinner, right? Yeah, and this is 16 mil all together. Oh, wow. So four times as, yeah. you know. So that color is case tan, brown, yellow, it's, case yellow, it's whatever. Close as, we're close as we're getting. The whole theory behind the colors is obviously, I text him, I was like, hey, Sparks doesn't trust himself to think of a design. If he huh. does, he's just gonna come up with a camo design. All right, what did we land it? We landed on half cam. Well, ah. three quarter camo. One thing Dave did want is he wanted some of the color of the actual machine to tie into the to the wrap because the wrap won't cover all of the yellow, but it'll cover most of it. So we kind of went with as close to that color as possible. So what got you into this? Were you doing dirt bikes before or what? No, uh, I was in the landscape, construction, concrete industry for 20 years and I wrapped my own equipment. And I mean, you drive down the road with a wrap piece of equipment, it, it's gonna turn heads. Oh yeah, not, yeah. So do we wanna do, so the yellows are slightly. Honestly, different. Because we could leave them off, or you could use them somewhere else. <laughs> Buds Ranger's definitely getting this. Right there? Yeah, probably. What? Really, yeah, yeah, like straight like that. It looks real good. I gotta take a picture real fast. Yeah, do it.
love the smell of new machines. I don't know what to do with my hands. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's on. What all colors do these do? White, amber, red. So on there, we'll be able to just hit boom, all white. Anytime, right yeah. there. It's already ready already. Oh. So what else do we have to do right now? So that's our, our nighttime DVI mode. Back's doing the same thing. Okay. And, and these are just basic things, but we can, we can get as detailed or, or yeah. fancy as you want. Sky's the limit, and then you got your white. Yeah. And then you have to keep going in and program each different, like, style we want or whatever, like could you do all flash right now or is that set to all, do all strobe right now or not yet? Those are the only two things I have a yes. program to do right yeah. this second, but yeah. yeah, if you, I can run you through the software, sky's the limit, I'll you, dr it, you dream so. it, I'll build it. I know what you're thinking, you're thinking, oh boy, you're probably really bad at giving gifts. Wrong! I've already gone to sparksmotorsofficial.com and gotten me and my dad matching shirts for Father's Day and you can do the same. Here's what you gotta do. Go to sparksmotorsofficial.com, get two t-shirts that you like in your cart and boom, bad boy has already made that second shirt free. So go to sparksmotorsofficial.com today and get yourself a free shirt. What are you waiting for? One more time. So go to sparksmotorsofficial.com, add two shirts to your cart, get one for you, one for your dad, two for you, two for your dad, whatever. Sparksmotorsofficial.com, go back to the episode. Lights and tints are on the Minotaur. It's time for Jair to show us the design for the winch box. Right here I have the Minotaur and the winch assembly together so we can get an idea on how it looks. Right here we have the 50,000 pound winch just like the one that we have on the head. This is the front of the winch. It's gonna have a blade on it so you can dig into the ground and get more. When you're pulling 50,000 pounds you really need to be grounded like. Yeah. Uh, the winch is gonna come out here uh, we're gonna have a pulley here. I still have to man uh, make that. The winch goes towards the back. It goes into this roller right here and then loops around to wrap around the winch right here. It's gonna basically attach to the Minotaur and the just like another bucket, just regular attachment. So it'll be pretty universal for that. Easy to attach and then it's a hydraulic winch so we're gonna use the auxiliary uh, hydraulics from the from the Minotaur so you can operate everything within your hand just up and down and in and out the heavy recovery just got a little heavier with the, the Minotaur skid steer yep. but anyway uh, we'll be watching Pedro cut out uh, a lot of the pieces for it and then Jair and Pedro will be working together to get it all put together that's right but back to the shop I'm gonna start cleaning everything and then when everything is all set and clean and ready to go we'll, we'll start 
tacking everything together so we can start the full assembly. But we're still made it, missing some material. But meanwhile, we can start with a few pieces, I think. I gotta bend these parts right here. And the part comes up. It's a 90 degree bend. They're pretty easy. There's not much bending on this project. Most of it is welding. Whole machine moves. Yeah. I bug hands a lot about projects that need to get done, projects working on. Pedro's currently working on. You have the print out of this? This. What's going in here? Is this the winch mounts? No. It's just the spikes for the. Oh, to dig in the ground. Yeah. Is it going to be wider? This is the front face mount. The winch is behind this, right? Between the Minotaur and this, the winch sits between here. It's not any wider. We think we want it wider. Uh, Sparks approval. Oh, he did? Yeah. Okay. So this sits up like this, boom. Spikes coming out right here. Uh -huh. What are these openings for? For our D rings hooks. Oh, okay. Inside Why back here is your D rings? It's gonna be welded on the, on the, on the, square, on the square pipe and the front face. So make it stronger. My biggest thing with everything Chongo does, uh -huh. okay, Break. he doesn't take the extra four seconds mm -hmm. to like let us just move the strap out of the way so it doesn't get destroyed. Mm -hmm. Cause that's the thing is like every sling we have, every strap we have, instant ruin. Uh -huh. We can count on it to be one use only. So we just gotta make sure that everything we're putting or whatever, uh -huh. smooth edges, all that stuff. Cause he will just rip the crap out of them, uh -huh. all of them. He has to, to be able to run uh, chains through. Yeah, as so long so. as you don't change, you should be fine to run everything yeah. else. I would say that and that the big Yankums will be able to fit through there too with the, the soft shackle. So then where does the winch come through at? The boom. It's going to be here. It's a boom? Yeah. Like here comes the That's boom. <laughs> yeah, <this laughs> and you're not. So it's just like a big probe. With yeah. the winch on the end of it? Yeah, here's computer. He's going to show you. All right, man. After looking at the, the winch attachment out there, you said you had some ideas. It looks really cool. I love everything about it except for one thing. Too narrow. The key to this is like, see how he's got these daggers here? Yeah. Obviously those daggers are to dig into the ground, right? Yeah. You don't think that's enough of them? No. To have, dude, this, it's a 18,000 pound machine in and of itself. Yeah. This is, this is, according to this, is the width of that winch. We need to go like, Bong, way out here. I would rather, because the whole thing behind it is that winch is massive. Winch is massive, machine's massive. I want as much ground coverage as possible. Yeah, it needs to be the width of like a black bucket. So twice as big, basically. Well, not quite twice, but. You add some here, add some here. Yeah. All right, well. I'll go with your own. Are you gonna tell Pedro, are you gonna tell Pedro this? I'll maybe send it like, like in a text. Yeah. So it's not like nothing can be thrown at me at that point in time. All right. Can't wait to see Pedro's reaction. He's not gonna be too mad. Pedro is ready to move on, weld everything up, and finish off the work. But Hans came in and he had a great idea. Yep. This needs to be a little bit wider for the Minotaur. So Pedro had to take everything apart. And now we've got to extend this whole thing out. Think about uh, making it wider. Uh, more work, I mean, <laughs> I need to do it everything. Everything yeah. is. It goes from 55 yeah. to 84. Something like that. The hands in Chongo wanted it as wide as the bucket, I guess. I want so. more people. You know, always. 
more big is more better. <laughs> <laughs> We're trying to get these side pieces right here. We have the center piece right here. Mm -hmm. This like square frame. Yeah. We're gonna add this. These are the spikes or I don't know the this goes in the blade. To make it look awesome. Yeah, and then it, so you can dig into the ground and oh. grip and then be able to pull the fifty thousand pounds that this thing can do. <laughs> See this bad boy right here? This is the uh, brainchild of Yair and Pedro and Iram and the guys in the shop. This right here is gonna be one of the most aggressive, heavy duty recovery winches for a skid loader the world has ever seen. Uh, as you can see, it's extremely aggressive up front. The nice thing is um, those teeth, we designed them to be able to be removable. So if we have to go on like asphalt or something, the odds of us removing those after they're already on, pretty slim, but if worst case scenario we had to, they're removable, replaceable if we wear them out. We're putting a 55,000 pound winch on there. How much it weigh? 5,000? 5,000 5, pounds. So with the winch and everything, this thing's gonna be like 5,000 pounds. They just got done fabricating the frame. So now we are going to grab the Minotaur and see if all of the, uh, all the brackets and everything line up. This is a lot of heavy steel, a lot of half inch steel. So lots of big pieces that uh, have to play nice together. So we're gonna see how it fits. And then uh, once, we know that it fits. They're gonna do a little bit more fine tuning on it. We're gonna get it powder coated or painted and then uh, just waiting for the winch to get here. Put this bad boy together, but this is gonna do some serious, serious recovery work. I'm stoked. No perfecto. No bueno. perfecto, but you know, it's expected. Sometimes things don't fit properly. Fabrication. It's the one of one. Yeah, so the first it's test the first, fit of yeah. a fully brand new fabricated, whatever we call the Megatron. Megatron. That's <laughs> uh, very Megatron good. Wings. From what I saw, it's very slight. Slight. Very what? Light? No, slightly that's stuff light. that's uh, like not like yeah. you guys did a great job just eyeballing it and measuring yeah. without having to do test fits. We'll make it work.
got a welding <laughs> particle in his ear, huh? Oh. Pop? Huh? Pop? Yeah. Caliente? A little bit, a little bit. <laughs> Mucho caliente? That'll, that'll improve your hearing. So when uh, Pedro put this together the first time, the mounting brackets were just tacked into place because we didn't know what <coughs> winch we were going to be working with. Now that we have the winch here, he knows where the holes are going to be and how far apart the mounting brackets will be. <coughs> so as you can see, this whole thing bolts into place. So once he gets this welded, we'll be able to drop the bottom out of it, mount the uh, winch to it, and then sandwich it back together in the winch box. And we've got ourselves a, a mounted winch, and then we can move on to the next step. I think pulling it apart again, painting it, uh, fitting you know all the angles and everything for the winch to actually function. A lot, a lot still has to go into this, but we're test fitting the actual winch itself today. What's the plan, amigo? What's the plan? Make these uh, angles stronger. I cut this truss. We are gonna make kind of ribs here. Should be strong enough for that. This is where the uh, winch bolts on. It's gonna be the, It's gonna have a little bit of torsion here. So I wanna keep that, you know, torsion as less as we can. Dale poquito así por arriba. Dale. ¡Esto! vuelo! Done. Done? No, done. No done. Now we have the winch in place, which fits perfect. We just make some, make some, uh, have to make some a little bit of adjustment there. We have all the frame together. We still have uh, stuff to do, which is uh, pump all the hydraulics uh, lines. You know, obviously run the, the wire through the, the boom. And, but the frame is done. So as you see, we tested, you know, like kind of bouncing, it's like shake it pretty hard to see if the Minotaur is able to hold it, is able to lift it, and we're good with that. So like I said, it's plumbing, uh, some uh, whiting and paint. Wait for the next video.